In this video, I'll be talking about crystals, uh, the different colors and uh, what those colors can be used for, as well as how to cleanse a crystal, program that crystal, and then charge that crystal, and a little bit of miscellaneous uh, information after that. But uh, for crystals, there are several different crystals in the world. There's like hundreds, thousands different kind of crystals that you can find. Um, but uh, when working with crystals, they can mainly be used for healing or for any kind of manifestation you're trying to use them for. Um, crystals that are white are usually used for any kind of healing, uh, like a, qu a clear quartz crystal. And this is what it looks like here. This one's a four inch clear quartz crystal. And uh, usually uh, any kind of white light projected out of this kind of crystal is used for healing properties, uh, any kind of diseases, uh, getting rid of ailments and stuff like that in the body. Uh, it's very good and effective for that or any other kind of, uh, it's an all purpose kind of uh, color and crystal as well. You also have black uh, colored crystals or ones like obsidian like this one here. These are good for transmuting any negative emotions or influences or any heavy or dense energies and make them, making them more uh, positive or um, uh, a lighter or uh, much more uh, uh, beneficial. Then you have the violet ray of crystals, which is associated with crystals like the amethyst crystal. And these are used for attaining wisdom, knowledge, inspiration, as well as a connection to your higher self or your holy guardian angel. You also have the red crystals or red ray of crystals used for cultivating vitality, strength, vigor, but in a balanced manner. Then you have the yellow or gold crystals, which can be used for uh, greater willpower, attaining greater willpower, or any kind of physical manifestation in the world, um, or trying to manifest uh, beneficial things for other people. Then you have the blue crystals, which are used for speaking your truth or communication between others, either spoken or written words. So if you're trying to write a book, you could use a blue crystal to try and help um, uh, find the words to uh, communicate what you're wanting to uh, share with others. And it's also used for communication with the spiritual realms as well. So opening up the third eye and uh, anything that's like an indigo color, like a darker blue, um, can be used to cultivate that spiritual connection with your spiritual guides and also with your higher self as well or your holy guardian angel. You also have the green ray, uh, which is used with the emotions of the body, uh, since it's associated with the heart chakra, which is uh, green in color, um, and used with the green healing ray or cosmic ray of, uh, of light as well. Uh, you can see with like plants and stuff like that, as they're used as uh, herbs, those herbs are used for healing properties. The green ray is associated with those healing properties from plants and stuff like that. And then you also have the pink ray, which is uh, associated with uh, like a rose quartz crystal. You can see right here, that's what uh, rose quartz looks like. And you uh, can use this crystal to cultivate love or compassion, as well as forgiveness or unconditional love for others, as well as uh, developing a mind-heart coherence uh, whenever you're uh, um, trying to use it for meditation and stuff like that to expand your auric field. If you tap into the auric field of the heart, uh, you're able to tap into that emotional body um, and really expand your aura to uh, bring in a lot more life force energy whenever you tap into the field of the electromagnetic field of the heart. Uh, but you also have a crystal like a blood bloodstone crystal here. It's a green and also red in color. So it's got uh, some properties of the green ray as well as the red ray and is used for helping with the circula uh, circulation of the blood in the body and uh, healing those blood particles of the body to where they hold more oxygen and stuff like that. Um, if you wanted to uh, project energy into it to manifest something like that for yourself or greater health of the body overall. Um, but uh, there's several different ways you could cleanse a crystal. Uh, what uh, I recommend is getting like a glass bowl or of distilled water. So a big glass bowl, um, however many crystals you, you have that you just bought, uh, I would recommend putting it in the distilled water and then adding a handful of sea salt or gray salt, uh, Celtic salt to the water. And this electrifies the water and enlivens it to where it can extract any of the negative energies or programs that are in the crystal into the water. And then you would then uh, take the crystal out after about 10 to 30 minutes of letting it soak in there. And you would uh, hand clean it like you're visualizing the dark and murky chi or negative influences that might be in the crystal falling out of the crystal from your hand going into the water and getting sealed inside of that water. 
Uh, you would do this for about seven days and seven nights to completely uh, cleanse the crystal. And this information I'm getting from a uh, series on Gaia known as Crystals, uh, Healing, Manifest Manifestation, and Alchemy uh, with Teresa Bullard and others. But um, you could also perform the Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram or the Greater Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram or the Supreme Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram to uh, cleanse these crystals as well. They also talk about uh, using a breathing technique to uh, get rid of negative uh, influences on the crystal as well. You would then exhale your breath onto the crystal, visualizing that dirty or negative energy leaving that crystal and then getting uh, sucked into the central earth uh, core where it can be transmuted into uh, positive energy. Um, that's what the earth is, is for. It takes in any of those negative influences and stuff like that and uh, recycles them to where they can be become beneficial again. But uh, after you cleanse your crystal, um, you also want to check and make sure that it doesn't dissolve in water. Uh, some crystals do, like salt is, is essentially a crystal, and it dissolves in water if let, left inside that water. So check and make sure that it doesn't dissolve in water first before you uh, put that crystal in a water uh, salt uh, uh, solution. But after you've cleansed the crystal, you would then program that crystal with whatever manifestation or healing purposes you want to use it for. Uh, you could use it for protection, abundance, wealth, uh, love, or the transmutation of negative emotions. And you would want to feel what it would feel like uh, by setting your attention. You would write down exactly how you'd want to say it uh, as far as programming it. And then you would also want to feel what it would feel like. Uh, to have that protection or abundance or wealth or love in your life to uh, incorporate the mental and uh, emotional realm whenever trying to um, create or uh, uh, make a manifestation happen inside your life. After you've done the programming, you would then charge that crystal. You would breathe in slowly and deeply, visualizing uh, your body growing as brightly as you could possibly make it. You would anchor a couple points to the left and right of you, as well as to the front and, front and back, and then the top and bottom, seeing those points grow as brightly as you could possibly make them for about 20 cycles of breath. And then you would spiral that energy into your body, either at the heart chakra or at the navel chakra. And then after you've done those 20 cycles, you would project that energy from that chakra point out your arms, out your hands, into the crystal, uh, holding it like so. If you want to do it like this, uh, covering your left hand on the bottom and your right hand on the top. And you would see that energy leaving that chakra point, going into the crystal, watching that crystal grow as brightly as you could possibly make it. And uh, this just incorporates the intention, the emotion, and the physical realm for the manifestation. Uh, you could also use any kind of divine mantra or name uh, whenever doing this uh, practice for the, uh, you would vibrate or chant that name uh, while you're projecting the life force energy into the crystal. So you could use like an angel name like Nanael or uh, Mikael or Michael or uh, Gabriel, uh, Uriel, uh, any of these angel names. You could also use any kind of uh, Sanskrit mantra that you feel an affinity for or um, any other mantra that you think would be uh, effective for uh, uh, using for your manifestation or your healing properties for that crystal. Um, but whenever you're holding uh, large crystals, like a four inch or even bigger than that, whenever you hold it in both hands, uh, this crystal interacts with your auric field and actually expands that auric field. So if you're performing any kind of meditation, you could hold these crystals in both your hands and it will expand your aura out. Uh, usually your aura is about 15 feet in diameter or more, or maybe the radius of it is about 15 feet. That's why you feel people kind of like um, coming into your energy field and you sense like there's somebody watching you or there's somebody um, uh, close to you. That's because they're in they're they're interacting with that energy field that you you're projecting outside of your body, and that's how you can kind of sense if somebody's walking to the right of you or to the left of you, getting into that energy field. But if you hold these crystals, it expands that aura field to about 50 feet or more, and uh, allows you to pull a lot more life force energy in whenever you're performing any kind of med meditation. But more information can be found on Gaia. Uh, I'm going to link the uh, show down below for crystals. Uh, and you can check it out for yourself if you want to learn a lot more about crystals, about crystal grids and stuff like that. 
But uh, that's essentially everything I wanted to go over in this video. Uh, if you found it informative or a value to you, go ahead and leave a like, like down below. If you have any questions, you want to leave some feedback, or if you have any topics you want me to address in a later video, also leave that in the comments down below as well. And subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting a lot of videos on here into the future. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.